This is Duke University. We'll put up the five categories for different segments that we have found are important for the value chain. Owners, finance, first thing they need to do is go to investors to get the capital to do their next deal. Global value chain analysis is a cornerstone of the Center on Globalization, Governance and Competitiveness. We've made a name by studying global industries and global value chain analysis helps us talk about the way those industries are organized and the way they're changing. The key aspect of global value chain analysis we focus on is who are the lead firms in these industries, how do those lead firms structure opportunities, and what kind of leverage can we study in terms of changes we're interested in. If you look at buildings and their energy use, their environmental impact, an obvious question is who has the power and the leverage to change how energy is used in a lot of space, in a lot of buildings across the United States. We used value chain analysis to analyze the real estate industry because it's full of so many disparate players. The value chain analysis was a good way to organize them into meaningful segments and separate them in, according to their roles and see how they interact with each other. Who has an effect on whom? One thing that surprised us once we did the value chain for real estate is that there was one type of firm that we weren't really aware of until we started this research that basically has a footprint in nearly every box in the chain. A really big one is C.B. Richard Ellis, also Cushman Wakefield, Jones Lang LaSalle. They're not exactly household names for companies you and I run into all the time, but they clearly have a lot of influence over real estate. They are in so many boxes of the chain that they really stand to have tremendous influence over energy use in so buildings. These are just telling us that the system is up and operating. This is telling us we're transmitting and receiving data. We were excited to see that you could up. use value chain analysis to look at environmental issues. But beyond that, we've been approached by people in very different sectors like global health. Uh, the World Health Organization has been talking about a global childhood obesity pandemic. But they've been interested in understanding how global food and agriculture shape what people consume in developing countries around the world. So they've asked us to do global value chain analysis of leading food and agriculture corporations. Mm -hmm.